The Triffin Dilemma or Triffin Paradox is a conflict of economic interests that arises between short-term domestic and long-term international objectives for countries whose currencies serve as global reserve currencies. This dilemma was identified in the 1960s by Belgian-American economist Robert Triffin, who pointed out that the country whose currency, being the global reserve currency, foreign nations wish to hold, must be willing to supply the world with an extra supply of its currency to fulfill world demand for these foreign exchange reserves, thus leading to a trade deficit. A reserve currency is a foreign currency that is held in significant quantities by central banks or other monetary authorities as part of their foreign exchange reserves. The reserve currency can be used in international transactions, international investments, and all aspects of the global economy. It's often considered a hard currency or safe haven currency. By agreeing to have its currency used as a reserve currency, a country takes responsibility to keep the global economy running and for that they have to inject large amounts of money into circulation, which could lead into inflation in its home country. The more popular the reserve currency is relative to other currencies, the higher its exchange rate and the less competitive domestic exporting industries become. This causes a trade deficit for the currency issuing country but makes the world happy. If the reserve currency country instead decides to focus on domestic monetary policy by not issuing more currency, then the world becomes unhappy. Testifying before the US Congress in 1960, economist Robert Triffin exposed a fundamental problem in the international monetary system. If the United States stopped running balance of payment deficits, the international community would lose its largest source of additions to reserves. The resulting shortage of liquidity could pull the world economy into a contractionary spiral, leading to instability. If US deficits continued, a steady stream of dollars would continue to fuel world economic growth. However, excessive US deficits would erode confidence in the value of the US dollar. Without confidence in the dollar, it would no longer be accepted as the world's reserve currency. The fixed exchange rate system could break down, leading to instability. Becoming a reserve currency presents countries with a paradox. They want the interest-free loan generated by selling currency to foreign governments, and they need to be able to raise capital quickly because of high demand for reserve currency-denominated bonds. At the same time, they want to be able to use capital and monetary policy to ensure that domestic industries are competitive in the world market and to ensure that the domestic economy is healthy and not running large trade deficits. Unfortunately, both of these ideas, cheap sources of capital and positive trade balances, can't happen at the same time. Robert Triffin pointed out that the years of pumping dollars into the world economy through post-war programs, such as the Marshall Plan, was making it increasingly difficult to stick to the gold standard. The country had to achieve this by instilling international confidence through a current account surplus while also having a current account deficit by providing immediate access to gold. Issuing a reserve currency means that monetary policy is no longer a domestic-only issue, it's international. Governments have to balance the desire to keep unemployment low and economic growth steady with its responsibility to make monetary decisions that will benefit other countries. The reserve currency status is thus a threat to national sovereignty. He gave a solution to overcome this dilemma. Triffin proposed the creation of new reserve units. These units would not depend on gold or currencies, but would add to the world's total liquidity. Creating such a new reserve would allow the United States to reduce its balance of payment deficits, while still allowing for global economic expansion. A fundamental reform of the international monetary system has long been overdue. Its necessity and urgency are further highlighted today by the imminent threat to the once mighty US dollar, Robert Triffin, November 1960. There is another possibility for reducing the pressures countries face trying to maintain reserve currency status. A new international monetary system, an idea floated for several decades as a potential solution. One possibility is the special drawing right. 
a type of reserve asset maintained by a global institution such as the International Monetary Fund (IMF). While this is not a currency, it does represent a claim by other countries on foreign exchange assets. A more radical idea would be to create a global currency, a concept pushed by John Maynard Keynes with a value based either on gold or the mechanization of a global central bank. This is probably the more complex solution available and does present problems relating to sovereignty, stability and administration. That was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Follow our channel to get notifications about more interesting content.